Hello everyone. We are already halfway through week three of our adult summer reading challenge. To earn your level three or North Bay badge, we want you to check out Press Reader this week. You can do so by either downloading the app or accessing it via a browser. Once you're there, we want you to check out the North Bay Nugget. In the text box, we want you to tell us which day you checked out the North Bay Nugget and what the headline was. For my read this week, I want to start off by saying this book won't be for everyone, but if you're a fan of Canadian actor and director Seth Rogen, I'd recommend checking out your book. Rogen tells stories of life as a Jewish man, and if you listen to the audiobook, you have the added benefit of having him read them to you. Spanning his life, starting as a budding teenage comic all the way up to the attempted censorship of his movie The Interview, Rogan uses humor to show the inner workings of his life and working in Hollywood. This is a very fast-paced book that would be enjoyed by anyone who enjoys his movies. So again, that is Yearbook by Seth Rogan. We do have an ebook copy and an e-audiobook copy on Libby. Rose, what do you have for us this week? Jade, the book that uh, I'm talking about this week is called The Zero Waste Chef, and it's by Anne-Marie Bonneau. And uh, it's sort of a great follow-up to the book that I had last week, um, The Woman's Garden, because, it, you know, you go from the garden and all the bounty to a cookbook that uses up every last little bit. And I love this book. It's really fascinating how every chapter deals with a different strategy for using up um, all your all your goods all your goods from the garden and also other things um, for example one chapter is called staples and scraps there's so many tips for using um, what you have in your pantry but what I really liked and this this is what really got me into this like wanting this book or wanting to read it is called Worth It Tomato Paste. I know, and probably so many of you know that you're going to have a lot of tomatoes this summer from your harvest. I think I have 15 tomato plants and they're all laden with green tomatoes yet, but still, um, I'm really looking forward to trying this tomato paste recipe. It's a little, uh, it's got a lot of uh, time factors. You have to roast the tomatoes. You have to cook them with maple syrup and so on, but I think it's well worth it. There are so many tips in here. And one of the things that I thought was rather was rather neat was she says sourdough zucchini bread. And she says, just like with when you get zucchinis, you've got a bounty of them. Once you get going on your sourdough starter, you often have a bounty of that. So that's a recipe I'm keen on trying. And the other thing is she does goes back to real basics, like there are all kinds of nut butters, um, honey mustard, uh, a ketchup recipe, and just some things that we know are out there and we're usually buying them commercially, but if we have the vegetables and the ingredients are simple, then it's something trying. So um, I, I highly recommend this. It's really true to what she says, the zero waste chef and how she reuses everything in the first the first chapter really goes into a lot of that so uh, i'm done so you can put a hold on it we want to thank everyone for participating in another one of our virtual programs if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe to our youtube channel